Good morning! I mean, is this not an in insanely beautiful view? <gasps> Guys, I am just... Wow! Okay, we're gonna run for breakfast and then let's get ready to go ski. Guys, okay, so I got dressed for the breakfast only. We're gonna change for skiing right after breakfast. I wanted to show you my look. I'm still wearing the chrome hard jeans that I wore yesterday. Welcome, welcome. Sure. That's not a problem. And I'm wearing this Saint Laurent knit. I love this knit so much. It's like what screams mountains more than this knit, right? So also my Eggs. Here we go. That's it. I'm not gonna bring anything really. Should I bring a bag? No, no. Right? I don't really need it. No, you don't need anything. Because we're just gonna eat, have coffee, come back, and basically, but maybe for the camera, if I do bring a bag, it would be this one. Yeah. Right? Quite cute. Because we have two colors. colors. Three. That's it. So, have it. Let's go. Because honestly, I. How do you feel, baby, about going skiing today? Very well. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Excited? Very excited. Same! Okay, let's go. So beautiful. I just want to show you this incredible view here. Look how beautiful. There is the lake that is now completely frozen. And it's where they do the polo on ice. Incredible. I think this is the most Christmassy place so far that I have visited. Badros Palace during winter months. Honestly, it's gorgeous. Look. Wow. A little uh, quick update as you guys can see we made it to the breakfast the lights coming from here so unfortunately well not unfortunately the view is like insane over here but you're gonna have to see me from this side Philippe is sitting here i'm gonna show you the view again because i'm not gonna stop until we all get sick from this view today we're going skiing so we're first gonna have breakfast then we're gonna go to the room change get our ski passes and everything that we need for a nice little day of skiing why well, say day of skiing i don't know how long we're gonna ski totally depends on how we feel we're gonna just like enjoy it i am uh someone that loves skiing when it's like a really nice weather i'm not someone that goes like to the crazy slopes but i really do enjoy me to sit here yeah okay no problem sure. Lipo is like arranging a little uh for me thing I love it. So I'm so embarrassed right now. Like I seem like a silly girl that just like takes pictures. See if I actually vlog this side, you guys can't see anything. I just wanted to show you. But here, something else. Oh, I'm so happy for this. This is for you, Phil Corriere. This and this, this I need because it's gonna help me feel my 100% self. That's at least what I'm convincing myself. Let's check out the buffet. Oh my God, guys. There's like strawberry smoothie, blueberry and mango. You guys know how much I love mango. It's one of my top three fruits. There's some fruits here. I'm definitely gonna take some mango because I really love this. Okay, on the way back to the table. Let's check here. Oh, so wintry and so cute. And then the sound of uh, people in celibates walking around makes it very... <gasps> Of course, I have to take this. I'm gonna take that right away. And then the pastry table that looks insane. You guys, I had to take my mandatory takeaway as well because, of course, one is not enough. Maybe a drop on. Can you take some pictures of me? Third? Uh, seven, baby. No, this seven. is seven. Oops. Slow. Let's get our skis. Mm. I'm loving the San Moritz Sun logo, baby. Did you know that the logo of San Moritz is the sun? Yeah. I'm fully dressed. The last minute check that we have everything yep. ready to go. I'm all like bundle happy guys. Apparently it's very windy, so I bought this little thing at the hotel that I can put over my face. I'm not gonna put it on yet, but if I do need it, I'll be like this, okay? The hair tie left the chat, so I'm gonna have like hair everywhere. Maybe did you close already the very helmet? Happy. Yeah, the helmet is closed. Maybe wait, this one. You is wanna that tighten okay, it? Or do you want me to tie it? I don't want it too tight because I'll get a headache. No, wait, wait. Go. Me? Uh, basta. Or? No, 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 no. Okay. It was perfect. See, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah? It's fine. See? I'm ready. I don't know if I ever said it to you guys, but Filippo used to be a ski instructor, so let's see in his student days. Okay. Andiamo. You have the racket. Oh, all the rackets in Italy, okay.
So we are currently going to Corbiglia, I think, or maybe to the top. I'm not sure because it looks like we're going really high up. And then we're gonna ski to Paradiso where we have lunch. As you can see, I put for the first time wow. ever my ski glasses. The view is incredible. Wow. It's incredible. The helmet is pop. Yeah, yeah Filippo bought it to me yesterday somewhere in Milan. Wow, look at this gear, babe. Yeah. So cool, ma. Huh? So it's a very safe and the price point is good. Then we have the city. Safety price. first. Then we have maybe the show us the song around it. Sorry, I was so distracted. Yeah, we can see that. Oh wow, that's a uh, interesting, huh? Is this a black slope? No, that's not a black. Red. It's very steep. It's very steep. Okay, so the jacket is Acme Studios. The knit, well, not this. This we got just now. The knit is Saint Laurent. My solo pet is Chanel. Componential collection of this year, and the what else have I got? I have lots of layers underneath that you guys can't see. I have the ski boots that we rented, I have my gloves, everything else you know. So I think we're right. Hi guys. So behind me is Tamara. Oh. Baby, shall we go? Yeah. No, no, go. I film. I, I film you. Yeah, yeah. You go and I come behind you. Hey guys, don't do this at home. Don't do this at home. Wow, baby, you're so good. Don't stop, go easy. Baby. It's okay. Hi guys, that's me and this is Tamara. Yes. We are in the most beautiful place in the world. Baby, that was so close. Look at that guys. Wow. It's the Look most at wonderful time that. of the year. Baby, you have my phone, right? I do. I could have taken a nice little uh, Baby, video. Baby, I love you so much. Okay, this yeah. is very important guys that we want to share with you. This is our, after three years, yeah. is our first time yeah. together oh, ski. skiing. And then, what should I say? Do we ski? Uh, well, you know, I come from uh, the mountain. Well, let me kind think of. if I can say in German. Das ist unsere erste Mal. I don't know, baby, what you said, but what I can say is Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich auch. Yeah. And guys, so, you know, I come from a city northeast of Italy, very close to the mountain. So I used to ski so much. And I was quite good, but then at the age of 20, you know, when you discover other things and you don't like go... Which kind of other things you discover at the age of 20? No, maybe soccer, ah. girls, you go with friends, you kind of leave the mountain. I mean, that's what happened that's to so me. That's so sad because yeah. I But you know, it's incredible because I haven't been skiing for, I say, 20 years. And then when you put the ski back on, your brain goes back 20 years and you start skiing immediately it's uh it's magic uh how does tamara ski she's super good yeah she's very good uh she's a, a woman so she's a little bit uh, scared and careful yeah which is good because i'm more uh, careful actually of other skiers you know i'm get very scared of reckless skiers no but yeah yeah but, pick you up on but maybe me I've too seen sometimes people like pick up other you know people, maybe, when you i know, was like, uh when i was younger there was no fear now you know you are scared, you are worried because maybe if something happened yeah. to one of yeah. our knees, yeah. maybe we are uh, done, you but know? Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about but it's good, guys, when you go ski, that you're always careful, you know? People what I wanted, wanted to tell you something about me that you don't know. Yeah, something that you don't know about Tamara. Her level of uh, dealing with pain is the highest I've ever seen. I saw her at the dentist with no anesthesia. Guys, no, but this is maybe it's uh, I don't know how you do it. And then we went to a doctor for some other things, and I was with Tom, and she was I don't know. Even doctors, honestly, they tell me Filippo, but this girl is uh, a different woman. 
So I want you to know that it's true. It's not, I'm not making up things. Uh, another thing you don't know about Tamara is that her mood can change in uh, one minute. Talking about changing mood, baby, we made it to the end of the ski lift, so get ready. Look, it's here. No, it's okay. Ah, okay, I have to put all the yeah. equipment because you know the guy exactly. here is carrying all the equipment to do this for Thumbs you up. guys. Subscribe for so, Filippo. Yeah, subscribe for me. Ciao, ciao. Wow, we're here. We're here. because we feel like we really deserved it. Look at this. It looks delicious. Guys, my face is frozen. Let's pay attention. This is quite narrow road. Ah, so beautiful. My God. It's the most scenic road, I would say. So sunny. Guys, did anybody call for an urgent Christmas tree delivery? Because uh, Victoria Baker, it's taking place right I think, I think now. Victoria is here. I think it's Victoria. Victoria. Guys, this only takes place in San Moritz, right? Lipo said Victoria back on asking for an urgent Christmas tree delivery. Guys, this is the best feeling in the world, right, Filippo? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, this is the comfiest bed. I have to say, I slept like a freaking princess. I mean, we are at the palace after like all. What? Freaking palace. No, you said I slept like that. A princess. You say a freaking princess. No. What do you say? I said I slept like maybe I said a freaking prince. I don't know, like a princess because oh. we are in a freaking palace. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what I said anymore. I'm so exhausted, you guys. I cannot. So I applied currently the Romy Glow Getter mask that I received in the post several days ago. You guys would have seen that actually. So it's what's the time? 5 p.m. We have to. We skied pretty much all day, baby. Yeah. I'm very proud of us. Mm -hmm. So we went straight after breakfast. I think we were there around 11 to be yeah. very precise. And then we skied for two hours and a half. No, no. Yeah, we skied until almost uh, two. two. Yeah, then we had lunch until three. Then and we then we did more, two lifts. Yeah, one hour lunch. Yeah. And then we ski another hour because from lunch to down to the yeah, parking, yeah. it's a one hour ski. Yeah. Which was actually very beautiful. Beautiful, so scenic. Uh, you've seen it. I've tried to vlog a little bit. So basically, I told Filippo to stop so we can vlog and he's like, we can all stop here. It's so narrow. And I was like, okay. And then while skiing, I had to take my gloves off, take the sticks in one hand, take my phone out of the one of the pockets, find it first because I had like different things in different pockets. And then I vlogged a little bit. He had the camera that's the thing um what else i wanted to tell you towards the end of the skiing day i noticed that people were getting kind of angry a little bit no so we were in this one tunnel there's like this tunnel i'll try vlog it maybe tomorrow when we go skiing i hope today is beautiful tomorrow as well and there's enough space for like two or three people to go next to each other normally people go one by one you go in like a slalom i don't know how you say it no yeah you go like low and what happened is basically this one person because i'm smaller you know and i was like uh, like I, I i crouched down to go faster you can have your phone. and i went faster than this one person and he told me i was shocked oh, I was like, wow it's because i didn't hear otherwise i would have picked a fight i cannot stand <laughs> no no I'm, I'm Filippo honest. never picks fights never but if someone is rude to me you yeah, guys you don't I, understand I, I I never forget because he's. N I've never seen Philip angry. Even like my friends uh, said that they first ever saw him once angry recently, and it was once at the airport because a family said about me in Italian something like something like, "Oh, poor girl, she's kind of stupid. She's not Italian, right?" And Philip yeah. was like, "Excuse me, what did you say?" And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. So now I look pretty scary, like. It's Halloween, but it's not. It's Christmas. So yeah. So in this video, I want you guys to answer to me. What is your favorite Christmas movie that you like to watch? What is your favorite Christmas movie, Filippo? I don't know, but look at what picture I took. It's super cute. Oh, maybe, of course, my favorite Christmas movie is Home Alone. Home Alone? But yeah. But you told me that you never saw it. But what do you mean? Of course. So I wait, saw which it. Home Alone? The one in New York or the one when maybe he's in his house? Picture I took. Yeah, you so did beautiful. great. You did great. Thank you. Baby. The one when they're in New York or one, one that, when they were at home no at home yeah mine is home alone but in new york but also i love love actually and holiday i cannot forget what about you give me your top three uh, home alone then i love the one that they switch 
the house from holiday, the yeah, from holiday. Yeah. It's no mountain. It's to British countryside, but okay. Yeah, but it was snow, no. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. gone. That's yeah, then, truly fake. Actually, it never Christmas snows that much in England. Is, uh, I don't know. That's not very Christmassy spirit. And I have one other question for you guys. What are your top three favorite fruits? Filippo, do you want to go first? Top three fruits. Uh, the first one is Clementine. Yeah. I can eat a 200 yeah. in the winter in front of a fireplace. Got it. Second. Second favorite is peach. Yeah. No, no hair. <laughs> Nectarine, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not too soft, not too hard. Okay. Third. Middle. Third one, it's any kind of berries. Okay, that's very broad spectrum. I'll tell you mine. My number one is mango, but it has to be the yellow mango. Number two is nectarine, so it's a peach without the hair. And number three is raspberry, but I also really love melon. Yeah. Love melon? Yeah, I love melon. Do you not? Uh, melon. Not a fan. It's Baby, okay. not a fan? Last time you said it's in your top three, no, but the no. white one, the, not the yeah, gold one. For me, melon is the orange one. But what's the other one then? White melon. Ananas dinha. It's called the pineapple melon. No, it's not. Well, it might be in my language. Okay, I'm struggling with this, so I need to keep it on and I need to lie down, okay, properly. So I'll have this. So many good pictures. You guys, you in a one, second. One. Well, thank God you're not an influencer. Yeah. You know? Guys, I'm trying to set up so you can see me while I am gonna have a little chat with you and also I get ready. By the way, there was like a huge glitch in Matrix because I brought this bottle to this table closed and I was gonna put it down, sit and open it with this bottle opener, okay? Bottle opener, bottle. So I pull down, I sit and I grab it to open it and I look at the bottle and it's open. And how do I know that it wasn't open? Because this was next to this and I didn't open it. So there was a glitch in Matrix where in like Parliament universe i already had opened it i'm drinking from the bottle hopefully it's not triggering anybody but literally so thirsty and also i will drink it all it's all for me i just realized i used the spf did all the skincare and everything and i think a tiny little bit burned on the slope today on my face not burned it's just like my skin looks a little bit red but anyway i'm gonna do like a tiny bit of makeup we're going to my ma my to Baby, what is it called? Matsuhisa. Yeah, I think so. I never can pronounce it properly. We're going to Matsuhisa tonight for dinner, which is just downstairs at the hotel from what I gathered. So I'm gonna do rose ink. Skin enhance as forever. <laughs> as forever. As always, I really love this product and I wanted to tell you what has my dental journey been now in December. So many of you know and I believe I mentioned it in Vlogmas. Was it 15 or 16 or something like that? I already told you guys that I had a lot of issues. Obviously, many of you have noticed, especially the ones who like to point out bad things about other people that my jaw wasn't closing properly and truthfully I've had this issue since I was since forever so when I was a kid I had to go to speech therapy one day they just came to school they asked us to like have a look at like a certain pictures like you know you have to say a airplane b balloon etc 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 and then when I came home not home actually I believe or did I anyway basically my mom got a letter <laughs> to say that I have to go to speech therapy and that I cannot pronounce three letters I remember then I went to her pharmacy and that the speech therapist was there I had the meeting I met her for the first time ever she asked me again to do she arranged like she found me a speech therapist and then she basically came to like do a test again in my mom's workplace and she said basically that i cannot pronounce s z and c or which is quite different in serbian but it's s z it's okay i was saying them like th, th, and s okay quite differently so basically i went through numerous sessions of speech therapy and i hated it absolutely hated it. i mean i don't know any child that likes it but it's just like don't see the point of trying to pronounce something that you cannot pronounce really right well i've done it long story short after that i can't really say the situation was fixed but it started bothering me around the age of nine i remember or ten actually i remember because i know it was the year of it was like a war year in serbia so i didn't go to school and i tried to work it out with myself how i could properly say it but because my jaw was not closing properly i couldn't really do it in the way that the speech therapist was teaching me to do it so i spent this time that i had a lot of time to work on myself at the age of 10 that's kind of pretty impressive when i think about by the way and i found a way to properly clearly say it but it required me to cross my jaw as i'm closing it so the the, the like the this or i don't know how to now demonstrate it but because that was i could find like a spot where my teeth were closing properly so i was speaking like that for a very 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 long time until finally at certain age of i don't know what age actually but it was like several years ago i decided to also fix my teeth i went to like a dental clinic in london like spoke to them about actually wearing braces <laughs> are you okay baby it's 
Yeah. I spoke to them about wearing braces. Uh, they told me that they can absolutely give me the braces. I'll probably have to wear them for five years and that it's not going to help me, most likely. I mean, that's not really. And I was going to spend like tens of thousands of pounds. I was like, I'm so sorry, but that doesn't sound great. They were like, yeah, because there's actually a jaw alignment as well issue because your jaw is very long and da -da -da. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but I don't know. Then somehow I, throughout the years, I was also like obviously not pleased with the way that aesthetically my teeth looked. So eventually I decided to fix my teeth and I've done that. And that significantly helped me in the way that my jaw was appearing. Like now when I look at like the way that old look of my jaw, I'm like OMG. So yeah, that helped me and that was great. And then I went to see the dentist in Milan and he told me that, well, first of all, I had those two fillings on the two bottom six teeth. Okay, let's tell you the whole story as it is. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what I was because you guys are not gonna believe it. A lot of you I know are in like dentists or into dental work. So hopefully it's not gonna bore you very much. But basically, so as, when I was at university, I had, like I told you the story in one of the vlogmases, I had this number six that was like, I had to do a root canal, but actually all the dentists in England told me, you need to take out the tooth. This tooth cannot live because like the root is so affected. It's a goodbye, okay? Say goodbye to the tooth. However, I'm a stubborn person and I don't like to give up. So I didn't want to give up on my tooth. I was like, hang on, hang in there. I went in Novi Sad in my whole hometown in Serbia to the dentist that my mom knew that I think was one of probably the best maxiofacial surgeons, probably my modest opinion at the time in the country. I don't know if the times has changed. It's been like 15 years since that. Okay. And he's told me, don't worry tomorrow. I'm gonna like, I literally came to see him and I was like, can you save the tooth? And he was like, get into the surgery. I literally <laughs> felt like texting my mom to say goodbye or something like that, because I was like, what do you mean getting the surgery? Like he, like they took me into the surgery room and it was like proper surgery, like in the movies where like everybody's wearing green. They put like a green cloth on my face with a hole around my mouth. And what they did, you guys, is they cut open my jaw. They cut the root of that tooth. It's a very unorthodox later on, a lot of dentists told me procedure. They cut the root of that tooth. They took it out through the jaw, okay? Keeping the tooth up. They put stem cells into the jaw so that when the stem cells start growing, the tooth can still stay there even without the root. And yes, you get, you're like swollen for like seven days in my case because I keep a lot longer like the swellings and stuff. But OMG, I managed to keep my both teeth and he did one here and one here. First one here and then one there or the other way around. I can't remember now. No, first one was here, second one was here. And then um, every time that somebody would do an x-ray on my bottom teeth, which I will insert a picture of, people are like, why are your bo two bottom six, which are 36 and 46, why are they like milk teeth? And they're not milk teeth, it's just that that's what they look like. So anyway, because of the nature of the teeth and this one wasn't like really like holding onto the filling because the tooth was broken. I went to dentist in Italy and I was like, hey, I would really like to, you know, fix this tooth. It's like whatever. And he told me you need a temporary crown. But then he had the look in my smile and he was like, listen, I can definitely do a better job here helping you with a lot of different things. So we started fixing one thing at a time. And uh, by one thing at a time, I mean, he's given me, he's done my crowns. He's removed that amalgam filling. He was like, for your wedding, you need to have like a perfect smile and a wife either smile because actually because my jaw was crooked my left side was always like pretty perfect I really liked my left side of my smile but my right side was not uh, so great. There was a depression in the smile. So we basically worked all that time on equalizing it and making it no depression. I'll insert a picture by what I mean by depression. And I'll also insert a picture, which is a picture of my first ever Cosmopolitan cover here, where you can really see how depressed was my smile. By that, I mean like it was very narrow and these teeth on the side were going in. So you couldn't really see them when I was smiling. And especially since my wedding is gonna take place in the coming time, I'm very happy that now I managed to do that. However, it's a process. In a few days time, I still have to go for control. We have to do some things because obviously like we, we're doing like a step by step because we want to do a very, very good job. So just in general, trying to make a more equal and more symmetric smile, which is something that I didn't have, which was also making my, I mean, my whole mouth is asymmetric, but that's okay with me. That doesn't bother me so much. I also feel like your face doesn't have to be like symmetric and perfect, etc., etc., etc. So yeah. Hope that explains that. I honestly do not understand why I decided to do all of that during Vlogmas, but I felt 
felt like December was probably like one of the rare few times that I could do it, which was probably a mistake. But honestly, it was the time that I was spending most time in Milan, you know, whereas it's not like fashion weeks are pretty much every other month of the year, etc, etc. So that's that. That was a lot of talking, huh? So now we're going for Japanese. What are you going to have, Filippo? Our reservation is in nine minutes, right? Yeah. That is exactly how long I need to get ready. Can you believe it? What do you mean, lol? Baby, I'm gonna take a picture of the phone. Yeah, the screenshot, take. And we're gonna insert it there. And you know what? The time we're leaving the room. Okay. okay, I think we should do that. Okay, so if it's not 9.15, what do you... by the way, the table is in 9 minutes. Yeah. So we should be out in 5. I think you should owe me like a very big fat apology if... I will, I will. If I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait. Sitting in the table. No, I said nine. I said nine. No, that's not true. What are you now, expert in uh, how the table reservations work? Have you ever worked in a restaurant, Filippo? Anyway, guys, story of my life. Me ready, waiting half an hour. This eyeliner, you can like ski with it. It's the Vive one. It doesn't smudge. And also, I'm loving this blush from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the, it's just really pigmented. It's not really a blush. It's Hollywood blush and glow glide palette. Yes, it is. Okay. Done. Okay, now I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll show you the look, okay? What's the time, Filippo? 9 10. And I'm ready. You are? Yeah. You know, baby, the bag, the coat. Which bag? Which coat? Why do I need the bag? We're going downstairs. I have my jewelry on. Yeah? Which bag? Do you think I need a bag? But baby, would you go without bag? I don't have a mirror. Yeah, a that, bag. that's wrong, baby. I didn't bring it. Ah, okay, I'll do this bag. Three colors. Uh -huh. Perfection. I don't think it's the right one. I think it is. No. I don't have a mirror. I think the right one, baby, is the, the, the new one. Yeah? Yeah. But I love this one also. Yeah, it's the patent small. bag. Patent bag. So, such so random rules. I need to have a look in the mirror and then we'll decide. Hold on. That's it. Where's the mirror? Guys, we'll see who is right. Look, look, wait, wait. Filippo? Yes? I go with the Prada. Yeah? Yeah, because it's an even look. This is a too big of a bag for this look. I think the Prada is so cute for this look. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Love it. So, everything will be linked below for you guys to have reference to. But this you have seen like basically two vlogs ago. I just spritz a touch of my number five, put my iPhone in my bag, my phone in the bag, which is brand new, I never worn it, but I'll show you already with that, done, and it fits perfectly in case you were wondering, and I'm on time, so I'm so sorry, do you owe me something? Yeah, I owe you an apology. Thank you very much, where is it? I'm so sorry. It's accepted, for, uh... for not believing that I will be ready on time. Exactly. Okay. That's it, well, I'm ready, my love, let's go to so eat some Japanese. so funny because guys we're having dinner at Matsuhisa and um, my best friend is in Milan right now and she is at Nobu tonight so Philippe and I were just at a boat at the same time wondering how she's doing this one of my favorite dishes is a spinach salad with truffle Philippe loves spicy uh, tuna right and we're waiting for some more stuff This room is so cozy, you guys. I had the best nap today here, exactly here. But now it's time to remove my makeup and to say goodbye until tomorrow, right, Filippo? Yep. When we will be doing another day on the slopes. Time for nanny. Okay. That was a fun day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys.